Hello guys and welcome back to LA Noir. I hope you guys are well. So on the last episode, I asked you guys whether we should keep the cases to one episode, you know, one episode per case. And uh, yeah, so you pretty much said, yeah, keep it to one episode. Uh, I think I'd prefer it that way anyway, to be honest. Um, about the street crimes as well, a couple is almost half and half. Like do a street crime or not do a I'm gonna carry on doing the street crimes anyway. So if you don't wanna watch them, you can just fast forward them. So uh, anyway, let's just jump straight in. Reefer. Reefer Madness. I suppose the reefer as in the smoking variety, the cannabis. You know a Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddie. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. So we got a police informer, a Freddy Calhoun. Let's go to Mike Lynam's bar. I just want to see if I can also change my clothing. Get moving. Phelps, Roy's informant is the skittish type. Right, I've just changed my, um, I just finally changed my outfit. What do you think? Looks all right. Okay, let's get out of here. 50 bucks? Do they think I made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kids are on form. <laughs> I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious. I'm just changing my outfit as well. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. It's quite funny, actually. Okay. Um, how do you get out of here? You look like you were a big fan. Right, I'm, I will uh, drive again, because like I said, I will um, I will do a street crime anyway. It gives you intuition points and XP and the rest of it, so... Get this. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Yes. That was quite quick. We come in. Car 11K. We'll handle the outstanding suspect. Roger 11K. See the detective. A possible 48. Against the odds. I quite like doing your street crimes as well. Quite nice to get it done at the start. Detective Phelps. Look, Phelps. In a minute, a bag man named Rampley's going to walk in here and put a mint on some horse running in the fifth. We don't care about Rampley so much as we want his boss. Okay. He's the one we're going to put away for fixing the race. You're hoping Rampley will lead us to him? Bingo. Here's what you're going to do. Get in there. Blend in. Wait for our mark. He'll be in a dark coat. Wait until he hands over the cash. Then tail him. Good luck. Blend in with my new outfit. Nice pink outfit. All right, I'll try I'll wait outside. Keep an eye on the place. Okay. Well, wow, there's a newspaper there. Here he is. Give me a grand on Cavalcade in the fifth. That big wedge of cash. Okay. We didn't even spot us that big newspaper. Right, let's tail him. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, let's not get spotted by him. Okay, excuse me, bus driver. So can we go incognito any time? Let's play pressing the left button. No. Oh, he's looking around, look. He keeps looking around. Right, let's look at this, um, look at the shop. This is what they do. <laughs> right, it's gone down the alleyway now. And he's flashing. Let's... Okay. Hey, come on. This ain't New York. 
Um. You playing hide and seek, Mac? Yeah, I'm playing hide and seek. He's there, right, let's keep going. Got it, boss. A full G. She's coming in at 20 to 1. You and I are about to retire. LAPD! You're both under arrest! Get your gun out, Phelps. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh! Uh. Whoa! I hate the, uh, the, the shoot on this is so janky. I see him done. Where's the guy who shot my hat off? He's having it. Where is he? I'm wide open here. That was lucky. Yeah, I find the I find the shooting a bit awkward. Might just be me though. Car 11K calling KGPL. Ambulance required at Sunset and Ivar. Shots fired and suspects are down. We're code four, but I'll need an ambulance in a corner. Roger that, 11K. All units, be advised. The 44 at Sunset and Ivar is code four. Suspects are down. Seven out of four. Is it all right done? All right, okay. Let's get back on track. Let's go and see this druggy. I'll like see you guys there, I guess. Here we are. Mike Lynham's bar. Bit early to be in the bar. There's a little snake. That's him in the back, Cole. Bring it a bowl of that chili. Oh, here he is. That's one heck of a Sunday. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Well, be careful. He likes guns. Now, do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. Yeah, it'll, it'll end up getting... Let's go this Cruz character. 50 pounds of dope. Yeah, that's right. say that's not to get out of town. That's to buy dope. You can tell he was like shaking a bit, like he was desperate for a, a fix. You recommend the special? Anyway, let's go to this uh, Juan's place. Juan Garcia Cruz, 1452 North Las Palmas Avenue. Okay. Straight over. You believe a story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. All right, looks like we are here. Quite a nice house he's got. Well, maybe not. Juan Garcia Cruz's house. <gasps> yeah, we've only got a pistol. Call for help. I'll try to find a way in. Oh, let's do some of this janky shooting then. Flipping out. But hack on again. I, I just find it so hard to shoot in this. Okay, let's do this. I see him done. 11K calling KGPL. Officers need help at 1452 North Lost Okay, look, it was just two of them. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice.
Okay. Let's search. And have we got a lovely. A what is it an AK? What's that? Dope peddler. Juan Cruz. You open fire and well, the rest of the story tells itself. Right, is there anything we can have a look on the stock? No, I didn't see anything else on there. Alrighty then. Um, it looks like there's a note over here. Masanke. Or a village in Borneo. Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Masanke. We inspect it or anything? Masanke. What could that be then, you think? A code word? Masanke. Alright, we remember that. Well, let's look at the. Can we look at the body or not? Appears to be shot in the head by a very good gunman. No, nothing on his head. He's just. Is that Juan? Yeah, that is Juan Garcia Cruz. Um. Okay. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. Hmm. Okay. So maybe he's got another address somewhere he does actually live. Oh, I didn't do his, um... we got to find probably another address then, don't we? things out of circulation okay silver dollar so I didn't obviously don't know much about well, anything about American currency so okay anything else his left hand sorry his right hand so nothing there all right let's keep looking then uh okay we look around the whole bloody house, do we, or what? Hmm. Parnell Soup Doesn't Company. Eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Wow, I think we have to trace the place of the tomato soup because maybe they're supplying the drugs. Let's just call it in. Let's go and oh, no, we can't call it in yet. Oh, we can. So that's where this tomato Operator, soup comes from. Me R and I. I need an address on Parnells. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, Detective. Only one address listed. 63, 10, oh, she's good. She's so quick, isn't she, at finding the addresses? Thanks for your help. Right, so we can go there next anyway, but let's carry on looking around in case we find some else. Well, let's not go outside quite yet. What's that you got? Tattoo artist as well? I know it looks like a tattoo artist to me. Ah, I wonder if we can look at the, um, that, what, that... Incidental. Oh. Right, where are we now? It's a bit dark in here. Okay, Parnell Soup. Guys, keeping one so well stocked with soup. Okay, we got a six shooter. Is it a six? Is it what's what guns out there? Oh. More soup. Oh, they got a lot of soup, although we know it's not soup. Talk to him, see if this is anything. No. I think I've seen it all. 
Um, let's go at the back. See what we can see at the back. Oh, is there a shed here or something? You're looking at the bin. No, let's have a look at the shed. You can just <laughs> you could just open it with a doorknob. But yeah, kicking works as well. Nothing significant. Not sure this means much. Bloody hell. Huh. Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> oh my god. It's because I've been playing too much of Resident Evil too, that's why. Oh. Oh, oh hello. Now we're getting somewhere. Wow. A secret door. Oh, they, they keep pigeons as well. Well, it's a bit. Okay, what was that? Was that anything we saw there? No, okay. Okay, a secret. More soup? Who in the hell keeps a secret stash of soup? Parnell's Soup Company Delivery Ledger. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? This, um, Tijuana. Two thousand. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. Dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. EJ. Okay, let's keep looking then because we see all the music go in. Unfortunately. Now look at the calendar, you can get the weight. No, okay. So, I guess it's inside the can. You hungry or something, Phelps? Very clever. That's a nice bit of cannabis there. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Wow. Is that it? That's it. The music has died down. Um, so, I guess we go to the factory then now. What's that number? What's that box there with a number on it? Nothing. Through 1368. Right, so let's have a look at the... Um, let's have a look at our clues so far. So, Freddy Calhoun um, told us of this Juan's address. We killed Juan. Uh, suspected drug trafficker. And in the ledger, we saw an EJ being listed. Uh, so we have to find what this EJ stands for. We found a word on a notepad saying Masanke. Masanke. So we don't know what that is yet. So we also found on Juan an 1896 Morgan Silver Dollar with stamping mark. So we don't know. I don't know what that is yet. I've got no idea. And in the secret uh, compartment or whatever it is, secret room, we found a ledger. And in there was talking about 50 pounds of marijuana shipments coming regularly from Tishwana, Tishwana, under the name EJ. And it looks like this uh, cannabis is being shipped in sealed, canned uh, soup cans. So the actual soup factory itself, where the products are being canned, is Parnell Soup Company Factory. And this 20th century market is actually uh, this Parnell's Soup Stockist. So we have to go and see that. So I think for now, let's go to the Parnell's Soup Company Factory. Next right. Crother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Yeah, is this it here? Oh, this is a part, this is a soup factory right here.
So we got us. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over seasoning the soup in this place. <laughs> yeah. Who's been over seasoning the soup? He's obviously got friends or family working at this 20th century LAPD. market. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. Howard Parnell. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. <laughs> Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Come on, Doris. Follow me, gentlemen. We're all very, um... The pretty girls, I guess. What is going on? LAPD. Sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, chubby? We found <laughs> at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. It's a bit odd, them uh, women who work in there. Okay, so Parnell Soup Company, let's have a look. Any name on that list that rings a bell? All right, so um, I've been looking through here for a while, and I just come across this name here, Garcia Cruz. Now I think I can't look at my. I was trying to look at my ledger, not my ledger. I was trying to look at my book, but I couldn't get out of it. Um, but I think this one shares the same surname as Juan. You got Jorge Garcia Cruz. This is familiar. Fourteen fifty-two North Los Palmas, a uh, Jorge Garcia Cruz. What's the same address as well? Okay, so Parnell's Soup Company. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just Very fine good. and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. <laughs> I think we're just going to go for doubt on this one because he's, 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 something's not quite right with him. Like, even when we came into the factory, we said, oh no, it's cannabis and stuff. He didn't seem to be worried. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Factory sealed soup cans. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Okay, so he might not know... Hmm. I'm going to go doubt again. He looks like he's dodgy. He must know something. We can't prove it. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. Oh. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. Okay. So yeah, do they have knowledge of these two? The Cruz brothers? Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. They're in your ledger, for goodness sake. Um. Mmm. 
Can I go lie and just have a look to see if my ledger's uh, shown in there? Tell us the truth, Parnell. You and Cruz are moving dope from Mexico and packaging it up here. I am telling the truth. You don't have one scrap of evidence wow. that says I'm behind this. No, I don't. Sorry. Let's back out. Um, maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll get. Can we back out? Right. It's like I made a mistake. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it's good to lie just to see what evolves, and then decide. Well, no, actually, I'm going to go doubt. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering. Like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Okay, inside man, Jorge. Is it Jorge Garcia? Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. All right, okay. See how much he's changed in his like, looking at me? He's basically dead on. Um, I'm going to go truth on that only because he looks like he's telling the truth. And he's looking at me like... So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. Okay. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. Right, so we need I'll to get... show you around myself. Okay. Yeah, we need to get hold of this Jorge, don't we? Jorge. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. <laughs> yeah, true. Right, come on, let's have a look around there, shall we? Of the soup factory. There's loads of immigrants. Are they all immigrants or something? Or anyway, it's cheap labour, anyway, isn't it? But it's obviously he's um he's just turning a blind eye, possibly, just so we can carry on. This is where the produce employing comes cheap labour. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Okay, nice. Fascinating. We supposed to be um, investigating what we look around, or this is cool. Why don't you keep quiet? You might learn something. Oh, good God! This really is turning into some nightmare school trip <laughs> flashback. Quite interesting, actually. He's picking all the bad veg out, is he? Yeah, we're supposed to be looking around. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? The soup is ladled automatically in the can. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. This reminds me when I went to... Um... I think it was just north of San Francisco, the Jelly Belly factory, when we had a bit of a tour. That was pretty good. But I do like a Jelly Belly. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there, on the desk. That coin is flicking, look. Around his fingers. I wonder if that's one of those. Right, let's have a look around the, down here first, and then we'll talk to him. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. Okay, well, we've got a lot of 15 boxes here. 20th century market. 20th century market again. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? Okay, anything else we can have a look at, or should we just go and talk to him? Have a look, look around, and then, uh... Alright, I couldn't see anything else, so I'm going to have a look, let's have a talk with him, this, this chap. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? The same one, isn't it? Yes. 
silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The he's markings in, on in the say club. it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. it brings me luck. Well, we know it must be some sort of um, sort of a family or something. Okay, factory sealed soup cans. Do you have access to the canning area? I do, but I keep to my station, loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Should we just go for lie again? I think it's either a, a, a lie or a doubt. Let's just go lie, see what he... Stop lying to me. I think you are muling the dope across the border. I'm a simple working guy caught up in the middle of all this. You're crazy if you think you can prove I drive the truck for these guys. Yeah, well, okay. Again, it's, we haven't got any evidence to, to, to support that, so I'm going to back out of that. Nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. And, uh, go date then? Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm going to go to Immigration Services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. Ernesto? I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here, it gets sent all over the country. Okay. So he does can it up then. So let's talk about this 20th century market. One of the stockers of the soup. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. See, again, I, you know, obviously that coin has some link here, so. I'm gonna go lie again, see what he says. Hopefully bring up the coin. You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Blanca. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. So I'm going to go for the coin. Because it links them both together. If the coin... Oh, it is here. Okay. Silver dollar. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? One and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. Oh. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Or he gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on. You keep your mouth shut for today and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Is that a serious question? That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're going to let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. So you can't say that sort of thing now, can you? Fatso and chubby. Political I am correctness. Out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. So I guess we don't need to speak to Jorge now because we know, I mean, I don't know if we are or not, but we know what he's up to. So I suppose the next step is the, where's he going? Hello? <laughs> where's he going? Oh, to our car. I thought that was our car for some reason. Right, we go to 20th century market then for now. How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. That's interesting. The, Do you have uh, any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? If you asked Roe asked how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. 
I was just going to say, actually, on the um, destinations page, it still had the Parnell Soup Factory in there. So I'm guessing we've got to go back there at some point. It's not crossed off. Just an observation. Anyway, I'll see you at the uh, 20th Century Market. Right, looks like it's here then. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, we might see a... Would we say a lorry coming in? Either these customers are serious soup lovers... Oh. ...or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B-Wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Move. I'll take my chances. Oh, we got a chase on. Yeah, we got a chase on. Abraham Grocery Clerk. Clark. Clerk. Let's get in then. Oh, which way did he go? Oh, God. There he is. Right, let's tackle him. We've got to tap it. I've never tackled yet. Come on, let's do it. That's the first tackle. we got an achievement. Asphalt Jungle. I wasn't tapping the left mouse Whatever button. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. Oh, we got some more marijuana there, look. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. Right. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor. I would like to help you, but I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Oh, another queen. So he's on our as well. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. Okay. Fine. And some money. That's it. Nothing else there. Fine. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. So maybe he knows um, the cousins then. Um, knowledge of EJ. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. Yeah, of course. What have you got the coin then for? Again, I'm going to start with a lie just to see what he says. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? I'll tell you what makes it part makes you part of their gang. You know it, don't you guys? It must be the silver coin. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Right, so Ernesto was the guy the other, the other person said in the factory, I think, wasn't it, Ernesto? Uh, Panel soup shipments. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular. As you can see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's perfect. It's very popular. Right. Again, I, I, I found now a new technique. If I go live first, I don't know if it's like bending it a little bit or cheating, but by going three lie, 
I think you're the connection on the Mexican side. I think you're more than you like to make out. So now I'm the big man in this? No, see, we know he's not the big man. We haven't got any evidence to prove that. So we can basically back out of that. Sorry. My mistake. This makes Cole Phelps look a bit of a prat. <laughs> so, but he knows some of You can tell by his eyes and he's a, he's a little bit dodgy looking, so. It's a real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. And Juan and Jorge, Cruz. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Hmm. He's looking like he's telling the truth now, that's the thing. Yeah, look at that, he's looking at us dead straight. But I've been caught out by this before, so I might just throw an intuition point at this, possibly. Um, mm, okay, I'm going to use an intuition point. I'm hoping it'll go on to truth. So, ask the community. Oh god, a 90%. But people, some people use doubt. Okay, I'm going to go truth then. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal. So he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree so to So we need to speak to this Ernest Ernesto. Report. That's the best I can do. The truck driver. And then we shall lead him hopefully to his boss. And we are back here now. We're waiting for a lorry or a van to turn up. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Let them unload the goods first. Now? Let's get them. Okay. Controller of the ready. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, we are. Raid Pinal Soup Factory. Okay. Let's get in there. All police vehicles are equipped with shotguns retrieved from the trunk from the city. Okay. Press A to open the trunk and retrieve a weapon. Okay, let's get out and get a weapon out. Okay, looks like we've got to have All a... Right, move. Move! Hang let's on. go! Press AD to select the weapon. So we've got a shotgun or we've got... Um, one of these things. I might use this thing. Okay. Okay. Make sure we aim all right. Like I said this before, it's a little bit janky. Everyone into position. Okay, gentlemen, back. we'll take the lead. You cover us. Where's the door? We go in this door here, are we? LAPD, put oh. your hands where we can see them. Throw out the guns. Go, Phelps. Get in there. Right, let's get behind cover quickly. Where's cover? I should have ducked. I should have ducked. Oh, fell. Get in there. Right, it's quite a few from here. Oh, one that guy there as well. Jesus. Wow, hey, there's loads of them. Woo. But there's loads of them. Right, you got three more, two are upstairs. Okay, 
Okay, we'll just keep going then. Um, oh, there's one also down here. There's one right there. Your cover, Weapons on the ground. Now. Right, let's keep going. But this is not easy. There's a guy somewhere down here and I can't quite see where he is. Maybe he's in there somewhere? Right, so we got him now. Let's reload. So there's one more guy right at the top. Almost there. You get him? I've just noticed something. Look, you can shoot liquid out of the out of the uh, out of the what you call them, the containers. Right, I can't quite see this guy. Is it there? I just saw his head just now. Alright, let's go upstairs then. I've had enough of waiting around for him. Well, the staircase is up there, so... Get behind something, pal! There he is. And it's the electric chair. Poke your head out, sort of. I think that's the last of them, Cole. Okay. Wasn't too bad. I'm getting a bit more used to the shooting now. Detectives. Found something here you probably want to see. Okay. It's a bit dark on my end, so we're just going to change it on my monitor for a second. Okay, let's have a look then. What we got here? It looks like a letter, is it? No, it's not. Wow, look at all that cannabis. Very minimum, another 50 pounds. God, you could be staying for absolute years on there. So, this was... Look at that coin, look. It's got a coin. Er Ernesto? We th oh, no, was it Ernesto? One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. So I think, was this the guy on the truck? I think it was the guy on the truck. There was two of them on the truck. Yeah, Ernesto. Tijuana address. We should see what the Federales have on it. Right around is... Detectives! I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Right, I suppose I, I can't see anything else down here. I'll have another little look. It's a little bit dark, so let's see what's up here. A big wad of cash he's got in his hand as well. So he was the other truck driver, wasn't he? Or the passenger or something. $1,000 here. So that's what he was given by the factory? Of the coin. Yet another silver dollar. Mm. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. Oh, have we got one short? We, we missed a coin here. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What does it mean? That's that word! Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Masanke? Mas can you work out what it says? Yes, I can. Let's have a look at our book a second. I think it's Masanke or something, wasn't it? Masanke. Masanke. The first coin, M A S. The second, A N G. The third, K A Y. The fourth, M E T. The fifth, 
ALS, Mesenche Metals. Ah. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever? 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. How does he know that? We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. Okay, investigate Masanke Metals. All right, okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, well, if it's too dark, I, I find this real hard to see. It's really, really dark, and I tr do try to turn up the gamma, but I don't know whether it ends up being a bit too washed out, so let us know, guys, if it's all right, that you can see all right. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Stay straight on this road. Get your priorities straight, Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Here we go, he's right here. Masanke Metals. Locked. We need another way in. Okay, we'll find another way in then. Jump over here. That's hard to see. Cover the back door, right? <gasps> oh, we haven't got a decent weapon. So you shoot him? I'd rather just shoot him or just go in and go, hello, excuse me. Let's see what they say. Hey, throw out the guns. No, they want to fight us. Fine. I should have shot them when they were sat down. Right. We've got a bit of blood. We've got our hat on still. Did I get him? No, I didn't. Did I get him? Weapons yeah, I did. Right, I think he's dead. Are you trying to get yourself killed? <laughs> yeah, lost my hat again. <laughs> anyway, got him. Got all three of them. What do you reckon? Do you reckon Roy? Is that all of them, or...? You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Someone said there's a lot more gunfire, gunfights in this... Can hold out? In this case, in this desk? Ooh. Whoa, 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 where's that coming from? I'm just shooting his hand, I can just see his hand. Oh. Okay, no, I didn't. You fucking tired. Oh my goodness me, it's a lot of gunfire. Find some cover. Where is he? Royce has gone upstairs, isn't he? Roy, what are you doing? Oh my god, there's loads of them here! Get behind cover, quick shit! My god! Oh, we got a couple of one guy here. One more guy. Just missed him. Come on, we can do it. Just poke your head out. Okay, looks like that's all of them, is it? Or is there more? What do you reckon, Roy? Well, that wasn't bad, was it? Quite a bit of action there. Oh, there's more. Okay. LAPD, hands up! Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. 
Of course mm. I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? This we have a is. mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Okay, what's his name? Victor Sanders. Was the main guy, the top man. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. Is that going to be another one? He gets away. After that one, gets away with it. Will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Terrible, isn't it? Right, achievement unlocked. Every herb bearing seed. Fantastic. Oh, we did really well this time. Clues found 13 out of 13, questions correct 9 out of 9. Reefer Madness. Even without Victor Sanders, the Parnell soup pot bust is guaranteed to go down in LAPD history. Excellent. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Tala. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Alcacala Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, yeah. Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! Wow. Sheldon's a bit more fucked up than I thought. Anyway, guys, see you next time.